Good morning, Bear Buddies. This is the week of February 22nd through February 28th. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Let's check in with our special reporters to learn about this week in history and some tips for being a Bear Buddy. On February 22nd, 1980, the U.S. hockey team beat the Soviets in the famous Miracle on Ice. It was one of the most dramatic upsets in Olympic history. The U.S. hockey team, made up of college players and considered the underdog, defeated the four-time defending gold medal winning Soviet team at the 17th Olympic Winter Games in Lake Placid, New York. The U.S. hockey team went on to win the gold medal two days later by defeating Finland 4-2. Celebrations this week. February 22nd, National Dog Walking Day. February 23rd, National Dog Biscuit Day. February 24th, National Tortilla Chip Day. February 25th, National Chili Day. February 26th, National Skip the Straw Day. February 27th, International Polar Bear Day. February 28th, National Public Sleeping Day. This week, we will be focused on the letter A for Achiever. One way you can be an Achiever is to try to learn something new. And here's Dr. Sabatini with the principal's update. Good morning, Barrow Buddies. Good to see you all in our virtual school again this week. Um, a few different announcements we have going on. One is that I always check in about attendance. And last week we had a little bit of a shorter week of Friday off, but I wanna shout out to Ms. Arnold's class in fifth grade and Ms. Clark's class in kindergarten who had more than two days of perfect attendance last week. So great job to those students. Um, another, a few other classes that did a good job last week were Ms. McCollum's fourth graders, Ms. Barnard's pre-Kers, Ms. Hinkle's fifth graders, Olin's fifth graders, Selleck's fifth graders and Miss Leggett's third grade. So our fifth grade is doing a great job of attending school, which is so important. And we're so glad that you're engaged um, and we want you to keep it up, okay? Last week was also Random Acts of Kindness Week. And I wanna give a shout out to second grade who did an awesome job posting ways they could show kindness on a Padlet. A lot of them, a lot of the students took pictures of themselves doing those things along with nice words and actions of things they could do to show random acts of kindness. So great job, second graders, thinking of ways that you could participate in that. This week coming up, we will continue to celebrate Black History Month. Got my shirt on here, Black History. And Ms. Byrne has arranged for us to have our Black History Month guest readers, which is one of our favorite events that we usually have when we're in school. And we're so glad that we get to continue this tradition that we have and you will have this year virtual guest readers coming on Tuesday and Wednesday and these are members of our community who are going to share a really great children's story with you many of them from our media center and we'll also just tell you a little bit about what they do in our community and so I hope that you will make sure that you are participating in class on Tuesday and Wednesday so you can hear from your guest reader that we have coming and then I also just want to announce that we are starting to prepare for students to return back to school in person. And so our pre-K for kindergarten first and second grade students will be starting in about a week on March 1st. Um, those of you who are coming to school will be ready for you. And those of you who are going to stay virtual, you will have your new um, classrooms with virtual teachers. Third through fifth grade, you're going to just keep on doing what you've been doing for another few weeks. And we will see you later on in March. Um, and we are really excited to be able to offer everyone a chance to come back to school in person so we can see you and be here at school together as a community. So that's coming up too. So those are all of our announcements for the week, a lot going on, and we are excited about the month coming up. We want to wish a happy birthday to these Barra buddies, Tyler Yearby, Nasir, Taylor, Morgan, Clayton, Ayad, Muhammad, Amelia Lopp, Garrett Lopp, a miracle, Patman, Esme Coffin and Anderson Davis. Happy birthday, buddies. And shout outs to Team 19. Well, Team 19 wants to shout out some awesome teammates, Laura for keeping her camera on, Zeph for being kind and concentrated, and Tyler Little for taking time to think before sharing an answer. 
Also a shout out to Evie for doing an awesome job constantly making our class feel valuable. She sent out digital Valentines to everyone in our fourth grade family. You are a super brave buddy. The fourth graders in Ms. Kim's class want to give shout outs to Jorge for always participating in class and helping his classmates in breakout work, room work, to Patrick for making class more fun and always having great ideas, and to Ava for being a good friend and helping others when they don't know what to do in class. Way to go, buddies. Ms. Freeman wants to recognize Anna Ford for being really engaged this week. Also, Amaria Stiller for doing such good work this week. I'm so proud of our virtual class for all the effort you put in. Ms. Arnold and Ms. Kelly would like to give a shout out to Haley Scott for her continued display of all the brave characteristics. Even though she is new to Barrow this year, she has become such a valuable part of our fifth grade class. We hope that you all have a great week, buddies. Here's a joke for you. Why did the gym, gym shut down? It just didn't work out. Before we leave, let's say a bear on a coat together. As a bear buddy, I promise to be fair, honest, and trustworthy, even when no one is looking because that is the right thing to do. My good choices will help make Barrow excellent. We will now observe a moment of silence before we begin to focus all of our attention on thinking, learning, and working at Barrow School. Have a great day.